What's poppin' you two? The Oscars this year were probably some of the best we have seen, with a lot of amazing films being recognized for their labor. And yet this year, when it comes to the Animated Feature Award, I couldn't be more torn. And it's not just me. For those of you who don't know, Del Toro's Pinocchio took home the Oscar for Best Animated Feature, meaning Puss in Boots would go home with that one. See, I love both of these movies, so it was hard seeing one without an Oscar. But let's take a look at both sides and see how Pinocchio managed to be our champion! This means we're talking about Puss in Boots again for the third time. Now let's face some facts here. Guillermo del Toro is a very respected filmmaker and has created some bizarre but overall unique and stellar projects where his full creative liberties and oddities may come to life. He himself has won a couple of Oscars as Best Director and for Best Picture in 2018 with The Shape of Water. Now, to my knowledge, you cannot pick favorites in the Oscars. I'm just pointing out the fact that he definitely has a big reputation and is highly respected among filmmakers. Of course, this is all to my knowledge, of course. Who knows, maybe the Oscars are rigged. But ultimately, when his Pinocchio dropped, many eyes were curious as to what the pre-established character and director are here to tell. Meanwhile, Puss in Boots The Last Wish had a less known director, but did have a pre-existing character within the DreamWorks catalog. Also, Joel Crawford had worked on other DreamWorks properties before, like the Croods. When it comes to overall animation style, this is where I see there being a difference. So ultimately, the two styles are clashing. Pinocchio went for a more rigid and more realistic style in terms of environment and overall visuals with stop motion animation. That's not to say some of the designs were not unique, as many were and it felt more exaggerated to give them life. But when you take a look at Puss in Boots and Pinocchio side by side, yeah, it's like night and day. The vibrant, splashy, out of a painting colors are completely different than the darker, more grounded color palette from Pinocchio. And although each worked for their respective movie, Pinocchio's more mature palette makes his film feel more grounded and dramatic. Puss in Boots, I feel like, can be seen as more kitty, and I use that in quotation marks, and cartoonish. Which, it is most definitely cartoonish, but like I said, it works for that film. Color means a lot when telling the story. And honestly, I can't tell which film handles it better. I will say at first glance, the more mature option would appear, at least visually, to be Pinocchio. Now for the themes of each of these stories. Both actually dabble in the idea of death and mortality. Pinocchio begins to cherish his life with Geppetto, Spatatura, and Sebastian, but it takes him dying a few times to get there. Until ultimately, he makes a sacrifice to give up his mortality to save his father. Well, that is until he's resurrected and given immortality, where he then spends the rest of his days living with his friends and family until they pass on. Meanwhile, Puss the Macho Gato has wasted eight of his lives and hasn't cherished any of them, instead pushing people away and keeping the legendary status he holds so close to him. But he eventually learns with the help of Kitty and Perito to value them and quite literally defeat death. The father and son story of Pinocchio hits closer in terms of relatability to the general public. It seems that way at least. That relationship is often something of high value and it is really touching to see Pinocchio grow from bringing this ignorant and whiny kid to maturing and understanding why life is so precious. This movie definitely hits home to many, as many are fathers and have sons of their own. And I will say the relationship between Pinocchio and Geppetto is very natural and real. And we see Geppetto heal from his grief and anger he had after losing his son Carlo from the Great War. Letting a new son back into his life was always a marvel of a task, but they ended up working things out. In terms of sheer heaviness, this movie probably takes the cake. Puss in Boots definitely had its serious moments, don't get me wrong, with the first entrance of death, the final battle, and my personal favorite, the panic attack scene. But ultimately, I do feel like Pinocchio resides more with people, due to the relationship it shows and how serious it takes itself. Like I said, Puss in Boots takes itself seriously too, but not to the extent of Pinocchio, as Puss in Boots still leaves room for more cartoonish and absurd moments to happen. And of course, like I said, that all works for that style. And this is ultimately a game changer when it comes to receiving an award. The Academy loves dramas, and the more grounded they are, the more they're probably going to hit home. Even when it comes down to the type of animation, stop motion is seen as such a grueling and tedious and quite expensive type of animation that is nothing short of spectacular and admirable. 
Puss in Boots had this very Shrek mixed with Spider-Verse style, which was fun and unique and had so much energy to it. But one cannot deny, Pinocchio is the more realistic of the two, at least in terms of visuals. And sometimes realism can lead to relatability. Puss in Boots definitely had its relatability as well, like I said. But I think Del Toro's choice for stop motion is so much more admirable due to all the details and the meticulous work done to make it feel so raw. I would argue that to me, Puss in Boots would have been my pick. I personally just enjoyed it more and those serious scenes I talked about hit closer to me. The anxiety attack scene is something I think people can relate to. I also just much prefer the characters overall. The style was just eye candy. But ultimately, Pinocchio won. And I see why I did. I'm not even mad about it whatsoever. I love that film, and my love for stop motion only grew. This channel itself started as a place for me to share my stop motions. And I understand how painstakingly tedious they can be, trust me, which is why I admire it so much. Also, Del Toro speaking out, calling it a medium instead of a genre was pure magic. In fact, I love the respect animation was given this year. Certainly a much different vibe than previous years. Oh god. I would also like to point out that the way animated movies are treated is almost like a joke. It was really nice to hear Del Toro speak out against this. I see why Pinocchio won the award ultimately. Just personally, it isn't my choice. I think Puss in Boots is overall a more enjoyable film. But this is not to say that I don't like Pinocchio. Like I said, I most definitely do. I think we can all universally agree though. Thank God Turning Red didn't win.